You officially tuned into the Real Field TV. This your boy, Top Cat 100. Shout out to the whole 100 mob. Reminders, I will be in front of the camera later on today. I will be releasing another video talking about and getting some things straight. But um, I'm going to do a few things right now. Now, today we're going to talk about this destroying of evidence as far as, you know, with the TMC, the marathon being tore down as far as the clothing store and everything like that. But first, I want to say a few things. First of all is now it's about the comments again. Of course, you know, mostly when I come up here and I talk about things like this is to get things understood. First of all, now a lot of people keep saying they speculations and not dealing with the facts of the situation. But around here, we going to keep speaking on facts. And we're going to keep speaking on whatever we want to speak on with that being said. Now, all of these, you know, speculations about Lauren London and, you know, I thought I put those to rest a long time ago. But it seemed like y'all want to get on Samantha and Lauren now again. Like you saying Samantha should be watching her kids and. She shouldn't be worried about nobody else's kids when she need to be spending more time with her own. Well, right here, you can see um, she definitely do that. Like, don't get it twisted. Just because you gain one responsibility don't mean you neglect another. So when we think and when we talk, we got to talk like adults. Because like I say, people still grieving. So we can still talk about certain things, but we got to talk about it more accurately. We don't know what Samantha doing as far as her kids' personal life like that, that, because, you know, we got to remember, you know, LL and Samantha are very private people. You see what I'm saying? So what we do report and what we do see is stuff that's already public knowledge that's in front of our face. And this is what people got to realize and stop getting into their feelings about. Like, this is public stuff, you see? So... We're going to speak on it. Now, we don't need to be talking about Cross and what Samantha do for him and stuff like that. Like I say, when I put out them type of videos talking about that whole situation, it's to shed light on trying to be an adult and to come together to actually raise, a, you know, put the village together to raise the child, you know. As you can see right here, this is Lauren London. The picture kind of blur. I apologize for that. Now, Lauren and the whole fam together, Cam, Cross, Imani, like, come on, man. This how long, you know, that she been holding it down. It take a lot being a mother, you know. And some of these people watch these videos, I think. So, you know, they see the hate. You see, you got to support the family like y'all would support Nip if Nip was here. You see what it is? You got to think big, you know? Y'all thinking too small-minded. You know, the body guy, he done retired, then moved on, people not looking at that. You see? It's out of certain people's hands. So let's hop up on this thing where we talking about the destroying the evidence. Like, David Gross, if y'all feel like this man crooked and stuff like that, like I felt like he was an agent and stuff like that, Obviously, he's still doing work with the family, but from what I'm being told and finding out, Nip was supposed to be building and knocking that store down and building something in that lot regardless. Now, did they take his ideas and run along a different way with it? You know, I don't know that. And I'm going to sit here and tell you, I don't know that. My guess is, of course, they took his ideas and altered it a little bit. He not here no more. They say nothing about it. But his mother, LL, his daddy, his brother, and everybody else is. So they're not going to let him just run over his situation that he had put forth anyway. And this is what we all got to realize, you know. So rather they turn it down and they, you know, destroy evidence, we actually known about that a long time ago from when it first happened and then the crime scene was cleared and you know the candlelight thing happened and stuff like that we all know that that never happens when regular people something happened to regular people they close off the blocks you know and all type of stuff like that 
the, the police want people back. They don't let people come to the altercation or whatever happened. And this is why it's always shady when you got a police force that was already against you and did everything they tried to do to break you down and to stop you from your entrepreneurship and helping out the youth and everything like that. And then you making songs, this in the LAPD and stuff like that. So we know y'all want good. So we know y'all, they really didn't want to meet with you. So they're not going to treat your crime scene like they have respect for it. And this is what we got to understand. We talk about it is possible. Matter of fact, we're going to stop saying it's possible. That's exactly what happened, man. We got to stop hiding behind words like they straight hid evidence, you know, straight up. But I don't think it's the turn down of the store that's actually doing that. It's not that's not really doing that. They been did that a long time ago as soon as it happened, because that's when the most evidence and DNA was around. You see, these tapes, we never saw the full tape. You know, people talking about, you know, this barbershop thing and how they held him in the building. We need to see that. Somebody need to come forth with this tape, because from the tape that I've seen, that's what happened. You know, I'm not saying nobody's wrong. And I'm not saying nobody right. This is everybody's opinions and ideas, and this is what I want to let everybody know. But as far as the destroying the evidence and stuff like that, they did that because they had too many different type of gatherings. They could have been doing that in the funeral lineup and stuff, you know, all up and down that street. So y'all let me know how y'all feel. Shout out to the 100 mile.